Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Zoho Work Drive. This is a cloud storage solution where you can store files and folders, as well as share them with others. It has a lot of advanced features to cover, so let's get started. Work Drive is a collaboration tool focused on businesses, but at the same time, you will be using it to store files that only you will be using. That's why we have this tab called My Folders, which is where you will find all the files and folders that you own. You can share them with others, but if you don't, no one else will see them. On the other hand, we have the Teams folder that you can share with other users and all the files and folders in there will be automatically shared with them. Besides that, there are other differences between these two folders that we will go over later in the video. If you would like to search for any file, you can use the search bar. When you type something, the results start showing up, but you can press enter to show all the results. And with this menu, you can filter them. Okay, let's go back to my folders. And these are all the folders and files that I currently have. To upload a new file, you can click on new and then upload files. Then select the files you want to upload and click on open. You can also upload folders and import files from other cloud services. When you select a file, you will see the available options like share, permalink and download. But you can also see more options here. For example, you can add comments, upload a new version of a file, add a label, rename it and delete it. To share a file, click on the share button, then type the email address of the user you want to share the file with, then change the access level and finally click on share. This method requires that the other person has a Zoho Work Drive account, but you can also create an external share link that will let you share the file publicly with the options to set a password and expiration date. You can also share folders the same way, either directly or publicly. If you right click on a file or folder, a menu will show up with the same options I showed you before. Let's open the properties. Here you can find general information as well as a file version where you can upload a new version of the same file and the link will be the same the activities tab where you can see the history of a file and access statistics related to sharing the file. All right, let's close this. Included in Work Drive are Zoho Writer, Zoho Sheet, and Zoho Show. These apps have similar functionality to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. To create a new document, click on the New button and then choose the app you want to use. In this case, we're going to use the Word processor. Here, you can write your document and format it. There are a lot of options available, so if you want me to do an overview of Zoho Writer, let me know in the comments. Let's close this for now. And on a side note, if you're finding this video helpful, please click the like button. It helps the channel a lot and we really appreciate it. If we click on team folders, we will see all the folders we have created and shared with our team. You can create a new folder with this button. Let's open the first folder. As you can see, it looks the same as any other personal folder, but there are some differences. For instance, we have this unread tab that shows the documents that have been modified, but I haven't checked out yet. This is great to make sure you're up to date with all the documents in this folder. Another difference is that you can manage the folders in different ways, like adding a description, adding or removing members, making the folder public or private in your organization so the employees can easily find it, see deleted files in the trash, see a detailed list of activities related to this folder, review external sharing, and create data templates that we won't cover in this video. All right, let's close this. On this left navigation bar, you can find some filters, like all in red, where you will see all the files that were modified by others. Next, we have recent files, Next is favorites, where you'll find all the files you have start. The next tab is labels, but I don't use labels, that's why this is empty. Next is share with me, but no one shared any files with me so far. And this does not include team folders files. And finally, we have collect files that you can use to request users or clients to send you files. This will generate a link that others can use to upload files, and the files will be automatically added to the folder you choose in your work drive. If you click on your profile picture, you will find more options. My Preferences allows you to change some basic settings about your view, landing location, team folders, and more. Also on your profile, you will find all the links to download Zoho Work Drive for your PC, Mac, or mobile device, so you can sync all your files. The app will create a folder that will give you access to all your files, and if you add files or folders to the sync folder, everything will be uploaded to the cloud. The last thing I want to show you is the admin console. Here you can see this dashboard with some statistics about the usage, activities, and members. But we also have team folders where you can delete them or add members. Next we have members where you can add or remove work drive users. Then we have client users that is not supported in Zoho One, which is my current subscription. But if you have a different subscription, you will be able to invite users outside your organization to use work drive. The activity tab is where you can generate reports about activities and filter them by time, members, and more. Next, we have data templates that we won't cover in this video. Next is data administration that you can use to find files and folders in team folders, as well as request access to other users' personal folders. On the next tab, you can manage the devices that have access to WorkDrive. 
Then we have some settings like team name, branding, and more. And finally, we have a migration tab that you can use if you're migrating data from other services to WorkDrive. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho WorkDrive is part of the Zoho One suite. So if you would like to try out Zoho One, check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching.